Hello everyone, new guy here with the next episode of Dungeon Survival. Let's jump in, as we've got some work to do. Haven't had the time to really grind all that much. We don't really have many other new characters, new uh, heroes. So, I did check the skills and whatnot. Our inventory is looking okay, so... Let's jump in and do a, uh, let's see, a level 8 is a little bit too high for me right now. Um, let's try to do a level 7 with Gunther, Kingslayer, Pyro. By the way, let me actually check that really quick. Do we need anyone in the hospital? Sabrina, alright. I will need Sabrina, so uh, the other can stay in the town. Right, Gunther, Kingslayer, Sabrina, and Fyra. Let's jump right in. It might be a little bit of uh, an interesting run, as I've uh, told you previously about the uh, what's it called, the Landscard strategy. It's really good, but I don't have a. Oh no. Right, fair enough. Let's just try to shuffle them around. Maybe that'll help them not use skills. Oh, they still did. Right. You move... No, you don't need to move front. You can move front like that. Get rid of there. Okay. That guy. Right. You get rid of the healer. You can move front. And that'll mean you're kind of immune. You'll probably have some sort of dodge, which you don't. Which is interesting. Right. Uh, get an extra chance, that's good. I really like preparation. And black humor as well um, is good uh, in this context because you, you get to heal regardless of the, the situation you're in. Right, I was, by the way, talking about uh, Baldur's Gate 3 on uh, Monday's episode. Um, really, it's in alpha state. I'd like to play it. I did finish, you know, the uh, whatever hours I had to, I had at hand due to the, you know, what the developers gave us in the uh, in the full ver uh, in the uh, early, early release version. But, um, it still was fun. I am still considering it. I, I'm not gonna say yes to it right now. Like I said, it's gonna be a tough one to pull out. Pull. However, there is one thing that is quite interesting uh, from, from the point of view of, um, how should I put it? of the gameplay. Now, uh, it's 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 a tremendously awesome game. It's one of the best games I've played in the past few years. Uh, the other one being Devil May Cry 5, which is just... I think it's my favorite game at this moment. Um, but it's very close to Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate's not out yet, so I can't really say anything about that one. Right, let's heal up. You also heal... Oh, the musketeers, you know, suffering from poison and all that, and just healing the already buffed row. What's, what's wrong with you? Heal up. That'll help you. And you're dead. Fair enough. Fair enough. Another reason, which is, I think, the biggest out of them all is... I've just started the Among Us series, and I, I really want to play it, and it's it's fun. I know, like, the first episode was out, and then I took a break, but it, it's, it wasn't something planned. Um, if it was, I would have been able to, you know, do some backlog, uh, record in advance, so that I don't get any, uh, any gaps between my episodes, but... Since it was unplanned, 
and honestly, I generally don't have a huge gap between, uh, you know, the, the recording, like, between my episodes. Usually it's per week. Alright, do we want to do this? Let's do this. Let's spice up our run. Right, let's buff ourselves. You heal yourself. You buff the other guys. Let's shuffle them around. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Um, you get rid of whomever we can get rid of. Right, you rage. Because now we're going to have some... Uh, right. Oh, he, he sacrifices. Oh no, just attack. Don't You don't have to rage. I mean, you did rage. You don't have to... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. You don't have to heal. Right, there we go. Bleed. Remove the bow. Okay, uh, we need to take care of the... Um, what's it called? The... Well, so much for the, for the raging, really. Right, you go back. Okay, you... This guy is gonna go down sooner or later. Right. Well, if you're gonna... If you're gonna buff yourself, I'm gonna also buff myself. There you go. Poison. Yeah, whatever. We'll get rid of that poison pretty soon. As soon as I uh, end up healing the rope, but nonetheless, it's there. Right. You move. You don't, you don't have to move. It, the, the fight's going pretty okay. The health is not re de decreasing all that much, and we just had a black humor kind of um, taking care of the uh, of the health problem. I think you could just boost that up a little bit, and there we go. One less enemy. Right, let's just boost your hit points a little bit. That that suppressed your poison, and you're now immune to poison. And let's heal up a little bit. You also heal it up, and the last row should be safe for now. Yeah, Black Humor's doing good stuff again. There we go. Back row is safe now. Shouldn't have heal, actually. Should Should have just taken care of. Uh, this guy really quick. Bleed should stack. There we go. There we go. We're good. Let's see, what did we get? This is a quest item. That's a level one item. That's just a joke. All right, what's this? Does this... I mean, Gunther's gotta have some good equipment, but let me see whom else we can give this. So, Kingslayer's can use... Kingslayer can use this. This will make Sabrina heal a little bit better, not by much. Gonna make it a little bit slower and crit is important for Sabrina, so no, no, no. For you, your dodge is important. You need that dodge. So I think maybe... So the... the <clears throat> Apologies. Um, here you need crit for this guy. Um, while on the, uh, the, what's it called? Gunther, he, he mainly focuses on keeping the party immune to, immune to debuffs, while that other guy's, you know, focused strictly on healing. So, this one's good, but I don't want to get rid of either accuracy or speed so not gonna get that right now let's move on butcher I need two butchers I think I'll need to visit this place for the second time right this is the other side of the wall so going back to Among Us uh, this Friday we'll have Among Us like normal nothing uh, abnormal there Oh no, I'm gonna be moved. However, um, this time, I don't know if it's gonna be a short video. Last time I really did have a tight schedule. 
or should I say, say schedule. Um, it really had a tight schedule, so couldn't really record multiple runs. And I'm also might be a little bit rusty, haven't had the time to play, as I, I'm, I'm genuinely saying I, I did not have a lot of time to play around, do, do you know, uh, little things, I just couldn't. Um, I did indeed play uh, Baldur's Gate before you point that out, like, oh yeah, I mean, you didn't have time, but you played Baldur's Gate, that is true, however, that was the only thing I can play with the very little time I had at hand. So, yeah, and between Among Us and Baldur's Gate, I'll play Baldur's Gate any day of the week. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't like Among Us. Among Us is a really interesting game. You don't really care the gra about the graphics all that much, but really about the dynamics between what you do, how you do it. Uh, indeed, for the past few days I have, when I've played it, uh, kind of didn't do too well as an imposter. I, I just don't like uh, being a bad guy. It's, I mean, it's not like you're not really a bad guy per se, but just I, I didn't. It's, it's not, it's not a natural thing for me. Uh, being like evil or you know, an imposter. It's the point of the game, I know, but I, I'm working on it. No worries about that. I mean, you can imagine in Baldur's Gate, which is a Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition game. Um, I could have made a um, what's it called? An evil character, you know, an evil one, evil person. I, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. I mean, you could say it. Like, no, don't be cheesy. It's just you know um, a game you could play it uh, any way you want. You don't have to judge yourself about it. Absolutely. It's just I just can't naturally do it. In fact, uh, back in the day when I was in a group of uh, Dungeons and Dragons players. Um, semi tabletop. It was on Discord, but it was the tabletop, uh, you know, rules, tabletop uh, kind of gameplay. You'd roll. Uh, sorry, touch the mic. Um, basically, as close to as tabletop as possible. Um, but really, I had to make a tiefling. Um, and, you know, normally Typhlings aren't nice. I mean, they're not uh, always supposed to be evil, and in 5th edition you're not locked in alignment. You can be whatever you want, No, nobody cares. You can be, you know, chaotic evil monk, no one would care. But I just, just couldn't. I had trouble trying to make a evil, uh, you know, speech like, hey, I am a bad person kind of speech. Um, I did, in the end, not with the Tifling, but in the end, I did manage to make a an evil Goliath, Goliath fighter. And, to be honest, it was... Okay, it wasn't, you know, extraordinary, like, oh, I'm an evil Goliath, I'm big and I'm, I'm mean. Uh, it was, you know, me pretending to be evil, and, you know, it's basic, um, evil, uh, kind of people. It's like, I, I didn't have... Uh, mastermind evil kind of uh, character built. It was the generic, oh, you're that generic kind of evil person. Boohoo. 
it's so it, people weren't really all in all on uh, the class that I've you know the character that I've developed nonetheless um, I did play with it because you know one needs an evil character if one needs an evil character you're gonna have to play with that character but um, it wasn't a great experience for me so I didn't play too much with that character indeed further down the line um, I played with some other people who really knew how to how to make an evil class I think they were a wizard I mean they were they weren't really a true evil you know really bad kind of evil character they were just jerk you know, I, I'm a jerk deal with it kind of a character nonetheless it was okay we had fun uh, but you know I'd usually go back to my monk like I have a uh, I, I have a good monk story for myself which I've built it over the years with the stories that I've read and the, the things that I've um, uh, found interesting throughout the time um, by the way I know I'm dealing with the inventory but uh, we are already at minute 16 we could do a second run but I'll have to pause so let's do that let's do a quick run let me pause the video after I manage the inventory I'll get back to you and tell you about uh, quick information on my my monk that I, I really like playing with in the, in the Dungeons and Dragons uh, universe. All right, I'm back. Sorry for making you wait about a millisecond or so, I think. But I'm back, and we're good with the inventory. We did equip our people. So let's go on a pretty leisure level five, um, what's it called? Death House floor. And you know, maybe we can be a little bit more dangerous and put Rayleigh in the front line and the other uh, classes in the back line. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, this is gonna be a little tricky. We are at minute 18, so it's gonna be about 25 minutes or so. But let's do it. Let's uh, let's be quick and get it over with. The fact that we've got you know the speed upgraded, so instead of walking like this, we're walking a little faster. That's gonna help us. Um, Right, level five is not going to give too too many good equipment, so I'm going to focus on damage to get us through the dungeon much faster. So let's uh, quickly go and deal with these people. That is going to be quite fast, in fact. Right, let's heal you up, and that'll mean Gunther's going to. We're at full HP, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful. I know I can't I can't use uh no. I can't use the focus all your attacks on me skill all that often. But I think this is one of the fights that where I can actually use, so put that up five turns, that's the downside of it, because it's really a low level. And it's gonna it is really gonna be useless after two turns because I'm gonna have to wait again. So in fights where you know there are moving enemies that move you around, I can actually use that. Right, that's uh, disabled successfully, so that's actually 
Right, going back to my uh, Dungeons and Dragons monk. So the the deal is, I really like the monk class. People are, you know, people have their own preferences. There are people who always choose. Um, what was that class called? Um, uh, the Eldritch Blast class. Because, I mean, Eldritch Blast is used more often than the class name itself, so no point in, in calling them a Warlock. The, uh, the Eldritch Blast class. People are obsessed with that one. A lot of people make uh, Warlocks. No problem with that. Looks uh, interesting. I mean, um, had some uh, Warlock... Uh, in my, uh, I had a warlock in my uh, previous runs. I also played. Uh, I did have a warlock in my party in Baldur's Gate 3, but that's that's. Uh, I can't really rely completely uh, on Baldur's Gate 3 for referencing my uh, what's it called? My Dungeons and Dragons experience, but. In uh, in Dungeons and Dragons experience uh, in Discord that I was talking about, I had a few really interesting um, warlocks, which one way or another still relied heavily on Eldritch Blast. Um, but like you know, I for example at one point had a I was talking about the Tifling earlier. I uh, had a Tifling, but they were a sorcerer. Um, what was favorite soul called in 5e? Divine soul. So they were a divine soul, and I had a really interesting uh, backstory developed for them. And um, you know, it, it was it was, int it was interesting because as a sorcerer, you don't have a lot of spells, and you don't have a lot of uh, um, a lot of flexibility like the wizard. Once you learn a spell, that's that's gonna stay there for good. I mean, not for good, but it's really hard to move around. Uh, spells as a sorcerer. At least that's what I've been told. However, the versatility of a divine soul, it, it really made it enjoyable. And as I was saying previously, even as a tiefling, I still wanted to play like, instead of making a generic evil tiefling kind of uh, class, uh, you know, a hero, a PC, one would call. Uh, I prefer to make something a little different, and tiefling that's not evil, that's actually good. And in fact, a divine soul tiefling. Nonetheless, um, that, um, that was the experience with my um, with my divine soul uh, type thing. Now with my monk, you know, uh, normally people don't choose monks because it's not a necessarily straightforward class. At least that's what I've heard. Now, you have to take this still with a grain of salt, because I'm talking about people who don't choose monks, when I am someone who, at any opportunity, would choose monk. So, I, I'm talking about the kind of people that I'm you know, quite the opposite of. But what I can assume, what I observed throughout you know the um, the people that I've spoken to they just find uh, the monk boring uh, the monk can't wear armor even though the monk 
um, with enough dexterity and wisdom reaches to have really interesting levels of uh, of armor class they just don't wear armor so you can't have an armor with um, you know armors magical armor that grants you something in interesting um, you can't wear it as a monk it just, just it won't happen so basically you're, you're limited by weapons by armor by, by the equipment that you can wear as a monk so people don't I think people don't like that and it's quite understandable but the capabilities for me is just outside of this world with so um, I do have as I've said in the past the too good to use syndrome myself so uh, my fighter rarely uses uh, action surge or second wind or that kind of you know short uh, I'm, I'm talking about short rest skills because long rest skills they're gonna stay there forever I mean I I can my spellcaster class plays are just horrible because like people are out of spell uh, spell slots and like oh yeah I don't know if I should use the third out of four uh, spell slots for my level one uh, I mean I might need it later you know so <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm that kind of a, of a player hey I, I do my best to not do that a lot but still when as a monk you can have action surge but basically as standard you can attack multiple times um, the fighter can do it X times per short rest or per long rest still like fighters so if I don't have access to a monk would I choose a fighter maybe it would be a choice between a fighter and a ranger rangers are also pretty interesting when it comes to versatility um, I've I've played as a ranger as my main class in Baldur's Gate uh, the Baldur's Gate 3 because they don't have a monk oh my god they don't have a monk can you imagine Nevertheless, um, I played as a ranger. Um, you know, versatility is quite okay. I wasn't very keen on you know playing with a ranger, but I was convinced otherwise. And I might you know if in the future ha are presented with a limited class options, I might go with a ranger. Who knows? Nobody. Not even me. But. Um, so, Ranger, oh wow, by the way, so penetration is important, but damn that damage, how about this, 20 luck down, but who cares about luck, look at that, so this, oh, not that great, so um, back to what I was saying, Ranger is interesting, people still find it dull, but I like versatility. I don't like too intricate uh, uh, runs. Like, for example, I, I know people who really enjoy wizards. And then there was this uh, type of wizard that basically could some sort predict the future. They'd basically roll two dice at a long rest, and then uh, sorry, bump the mic again. Apologies, and then um, you know use that in the future combat to save themselves from trouble but yeah it's nice it's doable but my to get to syndrome is gonna make things hard for me <laughs> yeah uh, by the way we're at 30 minute marker and we've done some good runs we've got some good loot equipped my uh, my guy is really quick 
and I think that's gonna be it for today thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it uh, don't forget to hit the like icon uh, like icon the bell icon was the icon don't forget to hit the thumbs up button the like button uh, share this with your friends and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this uh, episode or my gameplay in general and uh, like I said don't forget to hit that bell if you want to see my videos right off the bat otherwise I will see you around cheers